about three weeks ago, maybe two and a half now, I can't remember exactly when, but Alabama Power was flying this line right here. They had a contract company flying it with one of their employees in it. And supposedly they hit the line. You can, there's big lines on the bottom right here. You look up above it, you can see the top smaller line way up, way up there. I don't know if you can see it in the screen or not, but the small line, I can't, the sun's got me so bad I can't see it, but you might be able to see it. But there is a splice in that small line right up right about there. And supposedly they hit the line with that helicopter. And of course it crashed so i am a, a huge adventurer i like to see things and stuff like that so i waited a little while to come over here i want to check out where it crashed there is uh lexan is laying everywhere they've got orange flags all around here under the power line so there's one right there See, so here's a big piece of Lexan. But there's bits and pieces of the helicopter scattered probably, I don't know. And unbelievably, they have picked up every piece of this helicopter. Almost every piece. Obviously, they didn't look good enough. Here is the Halon fire extinguisher. You can see the tag on it says HR Aviation. Uh, this is probably the pilot's USB charge cord for his cell phone strainer, an inline fuel strainer, probably, for the fuel. And there's actually a piece of the uh, rotor blade right here, where it broke off. Right there, uh, there's an ink pen right there. There's a whole bunch of paper towels. Uh, Dale, this, this is a small ditch right here. You, that's a beech tree right there. I actually hit that beech tree as he's coming down. You can see where he skinned it and he landed right in this ditch right here and you can see all the paper. What I'm going to do, I'm fixing to go around and we'll get on the other side over there and, uh, and I'll start the video back and I'll shoot from over there and I'll, so uh, give me just a second. Back on the other side of the ditch now and you can see where this road is watered out from where so many people were down in here and all. Uh, after the helicopter crashed. This is uh, another flag. I actually got paint on the ground on that one. So there was something right there. I can see pieces of glass or a leg sand down there in the bottom of the creek right there. But we're about, we're probably 50 feet from the actual impact from where I was right there where that flag is. You can see where the road's showing up, eat up right now. And you can see where they come in here with the excavator and dug, probably when they were just scrapping the helicopter, because those they're just made out of aluminum, very thin aluminum light. There's really nothing to them. They're not made to take no impact or nothing like that. But I'll set my backpack down right here. But this is where, where we went down now. And the first part, I don't think I mentioned, but both the pilot and the, uh, the guy that worked for Alabama Power, they both lost their life right here when the helicopter hit. And uh, it's all kinds of different stuff they... But it's amazing that, I mean, I knew that they would have it cleaned up, but I wasn't expecting it to be uh, this spotless. You can see all the paper towels down here, probably when that thing hit and it just, you know, you got propellers running, no telling how many RPMs, and that thing come down, no telling how fast he was going when he hit the ground. This is... I don't know, some of my, I got a few buddies that 
that fly, they might know what some of this, what that is right there. I don't know, but you got to think when that helicopter hit the ground, propellers are running wide open. There's that beach right there where I, I was just standing over there, right over there is where the fire extinguisher is. It hits the ground and just probably junk went flying everywhere. But it's amazing that they cleaned this up as well as they did. And it's kind of amazing with them cleaning it up as well as they did that they missed like the fire. Because I can see the fire extinguisher from where I'm standing. It's right there. But they cleaned it up as well as they did. There's something over here. But boy, they got a road beat down in here where they come in and out of here. And, you know, I guess to rescue people at first. And then, you know, there's paint on the ground here. Oh, there's a big piece of leg sand right here. It's a big piece. But, you know, these guys, you know, pilots, from out of Georgia, it's another towel. Just making a living. And the guy from Alabama Power, if I'm not mistaken, uh, had been with Alabama Power, I think, 42 years. So, just trying to make a living. I'm sure the pilot was doing what he loved to do. Ended up losing her lives right here about three weeks ago. Uh, I don't know when they, I guess they probably cleaned it up pretty quick. I wasn't, I really wasn't sure what to expect. I just like adventure. I like getting out, seeing things, just exploring things. I'm a, I'm a modern day explorer, adventure freak. And I was hoping I'd given it enough time thought there'd be a little bit more stuff here but they cleaned it up uh, and also I thought I'd share with y'all see what that looked like and everything so uh hope y'all enjoy we'll see y'all later